Welcome to learn yourself. Think, discuss and write based on exterior angles concept. First question is exterior angles can be formed for a triangle in many ways. Three of them are shown here. So here this is the first exterior angle, second and third exterior angle they have shown. These are the ways to form exterior angles. Now there are three more ways of getting exterior angles. Try, try to produce those rough sketches. Now let us first understand what are the exterior angles and how can we form. So this is a figure. Now if I will make triangle ABC like this and I have extended each and every line segment like this. If I will talk about line segment AB then I have extended like this. So with this line segment this is the first exterior angle. So this is first exterior angle. Same way when AC line segment I will extend like this then my second exterior angle will be like this. Now this is not exterior angle. So with vertex A I got two exterior angle exterior angle 1 and exterior angle 2. Similarly at vertex B if I will extend line segment AB like this then I will get third exterior angle like this. This is my third exterior angle. At the same vertex B, if I will extend line segment BC like this, then I will get the fourth exterior angle. And this is not exterior angle. Now with vertex C, if I will extend line segment AC like this, then I will get fifth exterior angle. And if I will extend line segment BC, like this then I will get my sixth exterior angle like this and this is not exterior angle. So at each and every vertex I will get two exterior angle when I will extend those particular line segment. It's going back to our question that here they have shown us exterior angle. So if I want to draw at the same vertex then I have to extend this line segment and I am drawing exterior angle over here. So this is one type of exterior angle at the same vertex. If I want to draw with the same line segment and I will extend that line segment then I will I am going to draw another exterior angle over here and that is. Now here if I will extend this same line segment on other side then this is going to be my exterior angle. So exterior angle 1, 2 and 3. Our second question are the exterior angles formed at each vertex of a triangle equal? So let us first draw all the exterior angles. So this is my triangle A, B and C. As we have discussed earlier this is my first exterior angle, angle 1. This is second third, fourth, fifth and sixth. The exterior angle 1 is going to be equal to the addition of angle B and angle C. So two interior angle if we are talking about this angle angle B and angle C then these two angles summation will be equal to the exterior angle 1 and similarly the angle exterior angle 2 will also be equal to the B and C. Why is it so? Because angle 1 and angle 2 they both are going to be equal because they are vertically opposite angles. So these are the relationship between the interior angles and exterior angle. Now because of this angle 1 and angle 2 are equal, angle 3 and angle 4 are equal, angle 5 and angle 6 are equal and similarly if we are talking about angle 3 then exterior angle 3 is going to be equal to the summation of angle A and angle C. So when we are adding angle A and angle C's measure it is going to be equal to angle 3. But all the exterior angles are not equal. These are the vertically opposite angles and they are equal to each other but all the exterior angles are not equal.
Our third question is what can you say about the sum of exterior angle of a an triangle and its adjacent interior angle. Now let us first understand which two angles they are talking about. So in the figure 1 let us take this triangle ABC and the sum of exterior angle. So if I am going to take so sum of exterior angle of a triangle. So if my exterior angle is this, I am denoting a, that angle with E, that is exterior angle of a triangle and its adjacent interior angle. Its adjacent interior angle is this. This is an interior angle and it is adjacent to that. So this is going to be interior angle. So I am denoting a, that with I. That angle is interior angle. So what will be the sum of this two angles? As you can see, they are forming a linear pair. They are angles on the straight line. So, sum of these two angles will be equal to 180 degree. Let us check that example with second figure also. That here if we are talking about this angle. And let us take exterior angle over here. So, if we are talking about these two angles, these two angles are also formed on straight line they are also making a linear pair so addition of these two angles will also be equal to 180 degree similarly with this case also we can check that if opposite side we are taking that this exterior angle and this is going to be interior angle then addition of this two angle will be equal to 180 degree So thank you for watching and learning with us. If you have any doubt, please comment down below. I'll see you in next video. Till then, keep learning, keep sharing. And don't forget to subscribe, learn yourself.